it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Let's talk here about first principles. Now, first principles is a method for differentiating a function, and we can be asked to differentiate linear or quadratic functions using this method. And when we do so, there are five steps that need to come to mind straight away to differentiate by first principles. First up, we calculate f of x. Second, we calculate f of x plus h. Thirdly, we take f of x plus h and subtract off f of x. In step four, we take f of x plus h minus f of x and divide it by h. And then in step five, we find the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h, take away f of x, all divided by h. But this video wants to tell you what these steps do and how they actually differentiate a function. Now, in the back of our heads, we're going to remember that differentiation finds the slope of the tangent at any point on the curve. So here we're actually going to be finding the slope of a tangent at a point on this beautiful curve we see here in front of us. So let's go with the first step and see what f of x does. Step one. f of x tells you to go to your point x that you would like to calculate the derivative at and compute f of x, so sub x into your function, and compute the output f of x. So that's just whenever we'd sub this random point x into the function. Next up, step two, we go to the point x plus h, where h is really small. So essentially, we're just going to be going right beside the point x. So imagine I'm just really zoomed in here, and we compute f of x plus h, which subs x plus h into the function and computes the output f of x plus h. Now, again, I'm telling you that the distance between these is really small, but just so we can actually see it, I don't have it drawn really small because we got to be able to see it. But that value of h is just a really small number. What first principles is really going to be doing here is finding the slope of the tangent through those two points. Step three will help us calculate the slope of this line. And how will it start to do so? Well, to calculate the slope of this line, we're going to be thinking about rise over run. And step three calculates f of x plus h minus f of x. And if we calculate f of x plus h minus f of x, if I subtract those two values, that's going to give me the rise. So the rise is f of x plus h minus f of x. And then step four asks us to take f of x plus h minus f of x and divide it by h. We're going to note that the distance h is actually just the run. So that's why we divide f of x plus h minus f of x by h, because technically that's just taking our rise over our run, and that's kind of getting our slope at this point. Step five is the moneymaker, which takes this process right home. We want to get the slope at our purple point here, at x. However, we've gotten the slope of the line through the point x and x plus h. And in order to get rid of this x plus h, because we don't really care about the point above our point, we just want to go to the point x, we don't want to go to x plus h. This is why we set the limit as h goes to zero in our steps, because this will reduce h to something really, really small. So h will actually jump down and be tiny, virtually zero. So that distance will be right on top of our point x. So doing that limit as h goes to zero brings the point as close as possible to x and then gets the slope of that tangent line. So that's the steps here for first principles, folks. What you're doing is you're essentially finding the rise over a run in a very, it's a very sophisticated mathematical process, this. But it really breaks down to something nice. You're technically just getting a glorified rise over run between two points. But because we just want to focus on our point x, we set that limit h to zero in the rise over run to get us as close as possible to our point x. Thus, this gets us our slope at the point x. So those are your five steps for first principles. It's nice to know how they work and what they're doing in the background, because as we've always said along the way, differentiation is about understanding and building up the idea of what all these concepts are doing. And this is a perfect example that differentiation is just all about slopes. We'll see in the next video how we apply these steps to a question.